Hello and welcome back to Reloading for the 300 Win Mag Part 2. Um, we left off on the last video, Part 1, where the, the bullets were going in to get cleaned. Uh, I'm not going to show you that process because I use a sonic cleaner. It's a long, steady process and I'm not going to bore you with all that sort of stuff. So when they come out with the cleaner, they look like that. All nice, sparkly, shiny, good to go. So now we're at this stage. What we'll need to do now is prime these up. So this tool over here. Again, I'll just do five cases for you because uh, I don't want to bore you. It's always good just to have a little little visual inspection, a quick check that the, the flash holes all clear and everything like that. They're all good to go before you stick a primer in. Primed up. Now the primers I'm using are Federal 215 Large Rifle Magnum Primers. I got them from Mid County Blacking in Lickfield. Got most of my stuff from there to be fair. Prime. So you've got five prime cases. Next thing we do. Everything's been set up because I've been reloading some already. These are all made up rounds, good to go. I'll just show you how I get them to that stage so they're ready to go to the range. So we've got, I'm using N165 Vitivieri powder. Um, I'm putting 74.2 grains in. I'm using uh, the bullets. Are these Hornady ELDX 30 cal 212 grainers and I got these from Daniel Valmonts uh, and he's got a shop in Sheffield, Valmonts Firearms. Um, Daniel went out of his way to get me these bullets. They are quite hard to get hold of. I've tried three or four shops. It's going to be weeks and weeks and weeks they told me anyway. I phoned Daniel up straight away. Yep, yeah, I'll have them to you. Absolutely fantastic service. Uh, is massive in the game, so if you need anything, it's worth looking up per uh, Valmont, Sheffield, Daniel Valmont. Um, so thank you, Daniel. So, what we have now. Now, this powder that I'm using is very coarse, and I do have a trickler. Which is here. But it doesn't meter very well. So what I do, just for the Winchester Magnum only, well, and the 50 BMG, I actually put it in manually just with a little dipper and just dribble it in until I get 74.2, uh, 72, no, where are we there? 74.2 grains, sorry. So, this is the bit where you need to concentrate. Is where your accuracy comes in. One more grain. There we have it. Perfectly lined up on the scales. Hold a funnel at the ready. Now, a little tip I've found. It could be static, I don't know, but the if you just pour that into the top of the funnel now. Nine times out of ten, you get powder stuck around the top of the case. Now, when I pour it, I always have a bit of contact with the case whilst holding the funnel. Makes sense to keep it safe and keep hold of it. And then slowly trickle it in just so that it doesn't uh, clog up because it, this coarse powder does bung up the, the funnel. Um, and by holding onto the case, it, it, I don't know whether it's static or what, but by holding onto it, it doesn't stick around the top of the case now. That's that one done. So I'll do these singly. Normally I'll, I'll load all five up with powder and then put the bullets in. But basically, just pop your bullet in the top, pour it in this press. I've got the 300 Winchester Magnum Hornady seating, bullet seater. And there you have a made it round. All good to go, all shiny, nice, crisp, ready to go. A couple more.
These rounds that I'm making up now, I'm actually going out with on this Sunday coming. I will be doing a video because I'm going to attempt shooting out to about two miles with these. And hopefully get it all on video for you, which will be quite a good watch. So, let's see how we do. I've done all my load development and these. this is the, the powder charge that's good for my rifle. I think as a maximum it's about 70, where are we? As a maximum, 75.3 grains, so I'm not far off maximum charge for this uh, for this bullet. Uh, the brass I'm using is Hornady brass. Uh, this is a brand new box of them. Uh, they come from Edgar Brothers. much powder in these cases you can actually hear the powder crunching as you seat them it's, uh, you know you've got a full case if anybody wants to see the actual cleaning process and what, what I go through and what I do then leave a message in the comments and uh, I'll do a video for you and show you the steps I do. I do have a, rotary, uh, a tumbler, vibratory tumbler, but I'm not that keen on the uh, the residue that it leaves on the case. You get covered in a, a red powder off the, the media stuff that you use in it. And to be fair, the amount of lube that I use for these sort of cases it's better putting them in the Sonic cleaner because it cuts through the grease easier and it just it just makes so much a better job. Uh, I'm not bothered about really polished shiny cases like some people because to be fair the amount that I actually shoot you'd be there forever just polishing cases and I used to do that when I started but not anymore. Just put them through the Sonic cleaner, dry them out, good to go. There's another made up round. Now these bullets are seated just touching the lands of my rifle. Uh, probably a bit too long for most other guns, but uh, my rifles are custom made. Uh, we, we fiddled about with all the dimensions and everything in the shop. Um, it was Darren Hartshorn at Mid Counties Blacking that made it. Um, the man's absolutely fantastic. You put a block of steel in front of him and ask him to make something out of it. And he can, it's absolutely second to none, it's brilliant what he can do. And uh, he's also got a shop full of goodies, so that's another one to look out for, is uh, Mid County's Blacking. And uh, Darren will go out of his way to do absolutely anything for you, or he does me. And uh, quite a few of his customers I know that he's got a very good reputation with. Um, so again, if you need anything... Try there. There we go, perfect. Now I'll do one more, and that's the five bullets that I said that I'd do for you. got quite a few other calibers that uh, I reload for so I will be doing videos on them as well and it's a lot faster with other calibers than this one it's this the powder that I use for most of the other well for everything else really is a lot finer and very easy to meter and I can use my trickler and basically as soon as I put the pan in there a couple of quick spins with the trickler it's up to the the, the weight that you need straight away and it's a lot easier and quicker seating the bullets too because everything's just you can do it all in there uh, it's so much easier and faster and you can soon knock 100 rounds up 
in no time at all. Make sure all the powder's out because one of these tiny little grains makes such a difference on the scales. It can be a millimetre out on there and one kernel, one grain of uh, gunpowder takes it right up to the mark. And there you go, the last one for you. All right, anything you need to know, anything you want to know, leave a comment and uh, I'll come back to you and uh, see if I can help out in any, any way. So I'll put the video of me shooting these on, uh, on this Sunday and uh, you get to see the rounds that I've just made being fired and uh, let's go from there and see what you think. So thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon.